Hey you guys, Zach checking in. And I was just sipping my tea, right? And y'all know how those tea bags have the little messages on the side? That's how many tea bags you get. And the message was, compassion is giving oneself to others. And it dawned on me that compassion is a form of surrender. Because when we're compassionate, we're living from the heart, we're sharing our love. And when we share our love, it may not always come right when we expect it to, but we will have people who also reciprocate, you know, in the process, it's mutual, it's balanced. But when you are compassionate, it's not about what can you get from a situation, it's about what can you give. I feel that compassion is one of the closest qualities to God because compassion, you're not only surrendering to God, the higher source, whatever you want to call it. You're also surrendering your ego to yourself. You're not listening to the mind because when we listen to the mind, it takes away from the wisdom and the value that comes from above and also sometimes that's within our bodies because the bodies have wisdom. The bodies tell us a lot. And I feel like the bodies are connected to the divine as well. And with compassion, While it may not always be an easy thing for everybody to do, it's something that we can learn. It's something that I've been learning as well. And really just take your time with it, flowing, showing love, being grateful, stuff like that. Just starting small and building from there. Like the higher power is closer to us. And that when we are compassionate, we're not only surrendering to ourselves and our egos and stuff, we're also surrendering to God, to the higher source, whatever you want to call it. Because compassion, it doesn't really take a lot to do. It's a powerful thing once you know how to do it and you get off the trap of living from the ego, comparison and everything and you know, other stuff that comes along with that. So be compassionate, live from the heart, keep being you, love.